the space ship to 274.6. Contact at once on our wavelength. Yes, sir. Air Marshal calling spaceship on 274.6. Gosh, Buck, I guess we'll be landing pretty soon, won't we? That's right. Of course, the radio was working so we could contact Dr. Hugh. Well, that isn't necessary. I know the secret entrance to the hidden city. We'd better start using our retarding pressure. Air Marshal calling spaceship on 274.6. I'm sorry, sir, there's no contact. That proves it, Doctor. It is a cane ship. But I can't understand. There's only one answer, Doctor. Wilmer Rogers must have betrayed the secret entrance to the city. There's the signal to open the gates. What shall I do, sir? Open them and stand by to close them at my command. Yes, sir. They got our signal. They're in the lock now, sir. Close the gates, them and put all the power of the dynamos behind you. The gates are jammed! Notify the airport not to drop the wrecked ship to the airdrome. Have it lowered with crane. I want to examine it. Yes, sir. Buddy! Buddy! Get that gravity belt! We'll have a chance. Quick, quick, through that opening. Well, they're getting on through the floor of the ship. You're under arrest. Under arrest? I'm Lieutenant Deering of the Sandus General Staff. I know who you are, but I have orders to arrest anyone who escapes alive from that ship. That sounds as if the ship was wrecked deliberately. Save your questions for the air marshal. Buck, Wilma! How did you get here? The air marshal ordered me to arrest anyone who escaped from the wrecked ship, sir. You mean you were in that spaceship? Yes, sir. But it's one of Killer Kane's spaceships. That's why I ordered it destroyed. It's the only way we could escape from Saturn, sir, after the men of that planet turned against us. We'd better discuss this in my office. Report back to the officer of the day, Lieutenant. Come. So the Saturnians proved hostile, did they? Yes, sir. But they were tricked into it. You see, two of Kane's ships followed us to Saturn. They wrecked our ship, captured us, took us before the Saturnian consul. They pictured Kane as a just and kindly ruler here on Earth. Us as bloodthirsty revolutionists. Revolutionists? We, a handful of honest citizens, who are fighting to save the world from Kane and his super racketeers? Why, we... We would do well, Dr. Hewer, to hear the rest of Roger's report. Oh, you're right. I gather our chances of getting help from Saturn are very slight. Uh, the situation is worse than that, sir. The Saturnians may even join with Kane in his fight against him. That is bad. Outnumbered as we are by Killer Kane's outlaws, our fight has been all but hopeless. But if Saturn joins with Kane against us, means the end of law on Earth, the enslavement of our people. Captain Lasker, you have told the Saturnian Council that your leader Kane was a just man, that he ruled the world with a kindly hand. That is true, sir. You have said that his rule is threatened by a group of revolutionaries and that he needs our help to preserve peace and justice on the Earth. That also is true, sir. It is the duty of every honest government to aid in the suppression of anarchy wherever found. To that end, we have signed this promise of support. Prince Talon, you will visit the Earth with Captain Lasker. Verify his story. If it is true, you will present this treaty to the leader Kane for his signature. Saturn will abide by your decision. Can your spaceship be ready to leave, Captain? It is ready now, and I suggest we start at once. I thank you in our leader's name for your faith in us, for your promised help.
is Prince Talon, Lieutenant Patton. We're leaving for Earth immediately. Did everything work out as you hoped? I think our troubles with Dr. Hewer are about over. Have you identified the ship, Hewer? Beyond question, it's a Killer Kane ship. May I look, sir? Oh, why, of course. Uh, it's a sister ship to the one we came back from Saturn in, sir. Then that means that Killer Kane's men have probably completed their mission on Saturn. If we only knew if they made the alliance with the Saturnians. Well, haven't we got any spies working with the Killer Kane people? Well, we've tried it. But every one of them has been captured and put into Kane's robot battalion. So what was done with the stuff taken from the wrecked spaceship? Dr. Hewer has the instruments. The rest of the equipment was put in military storage. Then you still have the uniforms taken from the crew's quarters? Are you suggesting that we use those uniforms to get a spy into Killer Kane's camp? Yes, sir. And I'd like to volunteer for the detail. Oh, you'd only be captured and spend the rest of your days in Kane's robot battalion. I'm afraid that you're of more value to us in the air, Rogers. But, Marshal Craig, if I can get the information concerning the Saturnian Treaty, sir, may mean the success of our campaign. He's right, Hewer. You haven't a chance in a thousand. But if you're willing to risk it, I can't afford to refuse the offer. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, Buck. Hi, Buck. Say, uh, I, I just heard about you going to spy on Killer Kane. Yeah? Yeah. Gee, I never figured you were the kind of a guy that let a pal down. I don't get you. Well, I... Well, I sort of figured that wherever you went, that Will and I could go. Now, listen, kid, you don't be like that. You know, I would take you if I could. You would? I sure I would. Well, hold everything. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Buddy Wade, how did you get in here? Oh, I, I just came in. You see, I've got some very important things to talk over with you, sir. Oh, I see. Uh, Buck, I mean, Colonel Rogers wants me to go with him. What on earth for? Well, he's gonna need me. See, that's too big of a job for just one man. Why, if Buck ever gets into a jam over in Killer Kane's country, why, he's gonna need help. Well, as you see, this is a very important matter, Master Wade. I'm sure that you could be of uh, great assistance to Colonel Rogers. But I'm afraid I can't give you my consent. Wait! Where are you? Wait! Honest Indian, Buck. That's just what the Air Marshal said. He, uh, he said I could be of great assistance to you. You'll take me, won't you, Buck? Yeah, there's a fast one in there somewhere. But if that's what the air marshal said, I suppose we have to obey orders, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Come on. It's all right, Rankin. Why, Colonel Rogers, you startled me in that uniform. I'm glad we did. Hope we do as well in Killer Kane City. <laughs> Ready to take off? All set, sir. Just speed and circle the palace. But he now bail out. Yes, sir.
Your city is a beautiful one, Leader Kane. Far more beautiful than I'd expected. Thank you. Unfortunately, there are people on Earth who would give up all this and return to the old ways. You mean the people of the hidden city? Yes. Our rule of science will not be completed until they are put out of the way. Which one of those buildings is Killer Kane's? That big one with the terraces. I'll circle it in a minute. Switch it to gravity belts and prepare to bail out. Right off. So long, Lincoln. Good luck, Hi, Lieutenant. contrary to the leader's orders to land on these terraces. Show me your registration card. Well, sir, we were in a hurry to get to him. We have important news. Let me see your registration card. Why, your spies, John Keith. All right, not a sound out of you except an answer to my questions. Buddy, got an extra belt lace? Good, tie up his feet. Are there any more of you on this terrace? Well, never mind that. Where I killed Kane's rooms. Listen, I haven't any time to waste with you. I'll just give you 10 seconds to answer that. It's the top floor of this building. Buddy, grab his legs. We'll drag him out of sight. I sent for you because my patience is about at an end. You have all read the treaty which our good friend Prince Talon has brought from our sister planet, Saturn. It pleases me. Buddy, get a de gravity belt from the rack we just passed. Are there any objections from the councilors? Then I submit it to you for your signatures. No one will sign that treaty, Kane. I'll take it. Cards! How did you get in here? We were here when you and Prince Talon entered the room. It's Buck Rogers. Who is Buck Rogers? He's the hidden city American who came to Saturn. Talon, you're not going to sign this treaty until I've had a chance to show you just why this man is called Killer King. Don't be a fool, Rogers. If you persist in this folly, my men will kill you. Not until I've shown Prince Talon just what you do with your prisoners, King. Get to the televi. Go on, move. Prince Talon, you go with him. Buddy, keep these counselors covered. Get the dynamo room. I said the dynamo room, Kane. See for yourself, Prince Talon. Those steel caps they're wearing are amnesia helmets, an invention of Kane's scientists to rob men of their minds and their will. But this is incredible. Nevertheless, Talon, it's true. Now do you know why we are fighting this man? Who is your leader? I shall be glad to treat with him. That's a very handsome gesture, Prince Talon. But how do you and Rogers plan to leave my city? You will be arrested by my guards before you can leave the palace. I've taken care of that, King. Buddy, toss me that de-gravity belt. That de-gravity belt? I don't understand. It's a device we use here on Earth. It's really an outgrowth of the old parachute. Put it on, Teller. 
Oh, I see. Buddy. Out the window you go, you two. Well, how about you, Buck? Never mind about me. Street level. With these to gravity belts, we may be able All to... troops, police patrols, and loyal citizens are ordered to be on the lookout for three fugitives. Two of them are spies from the hidden city, disguised in the uniforms of Leader Kane's soldiers. The third is the Saturnian, and they're in the vicinity of the leader's palace. Very good, Captain. Repeat that on all wavelengths until the fugitives are captured. Boy, we'll never get out of here now. <laughs> Cheer up, buddy. They haven't caught us yet. City, disguised in the uniforms of Leader Kane's soldiers. The third is the Saturnians, and they're in the vicinity of the leader's palace. They're on the terrace. with some sort of a ray gun. 